Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the very first time I'm doing this because it's the very first time I'm receiving anything from you guys. Not complaining, not saying that you guys are a bunch of freeloaders. <laughs> I hope my jokes come across as jokes. Sometimes I wonder. I wonder if that's why some people unsubscribe when I say something stupid or it just could be my mediocre gameplay. Anyways, I can't stay on topic. It seems. A while back, some of my content creator friends started registering their gifts on this website called throneme, throneme.com. I created my page too and added some items there. I didn't think anyone would actually get anything for me, so I never promoted the page anywhere other than adding that to my link tree on Instagram. One day, I got this notification saying, you have received new gifts. And then I was like, who is that? So I hopped on. It's this. Oh wait, wrong side. Kenna Bridge of Spirits, a game that I have been wanting to play for a really long time. And I can't wait to play this. I will finish this game no matter what because it was a very generous gift from Shiv. <laughs> This is bad. We still haven't confirmed whether it's pronounced as Shiv or Shiv, but I like Shiv. It reminds me of the, the Shiv in The Last of Us. And I sincerely hope you stay sharp and your vision stays sharp. Other people won't understand what that means, but you know what I mean. We've been emailing back and forth. So thank you so much for this very generous gift. This is the first ever gift I received from doing YouTube. First ever anything, <laughs> really. <laughs> There's a hundred dollar threshold for advertisements, but I'm not there yet, so I haven't received any paycheck. Again, this is not complaining about doing YouTube. I love doing it. I would do it just for meeting new people, the interaction, and you know, the whole nine yards. I, I love doing it. But it's even better when it's rewarded with either money from YouTube, random gifts from you guys, or hopefully future sponsorships. It really makes me feel like I'm doing something right. You know, <laughs> somebody went out of their way to purchase this gift for me with no agenda other than showing their appreciation for the work I put in on YouTube. Even though I should be the one who thank you guys for watching and any kind of in engagement with the, with the channel really. So thank you, thank you. Janema Gaming, second face of this YouTube channel. Money grabbing. What? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not a horrible person, I promise. And then my second gift is from Yusuf, who also does YouTube himself, plus music too, I believe. He has a SoundCloud link, an Instagram, casualgamer99. I had to give him the address of my, oh wait, it's not this package. <laughs> I might as well just show you because this is just a, a random video anyway. <laughs> the package I just opened is my heated blanket. My neck and my shoulders have been hurting. I wanted something to help with that. I don't know if this works. A heated wrap for my neck and shoulder. <laughs> but that's not what Yosef sent me. Be right back. This is the box from Yosef. Let's see what he got me. And this is not from Th Throne, so I have no idea. Although there was a little spoiler. He told me through Instagram DM that it's a... Uh, a Switch controller plus a new game. Speaking of Instagram DM, I know my profile says no DMs, but I do check the DMs from people that I already know and trust. Uh, there's a whole story behind why I had to put that aggressive no DMs information there. I might have mentioned this before. There was a big uh, dick pic incident that had left me traumatized. I just do not want to open any unsolicited DMs until, you know, I, I at least know this person somehow. For example, if you've been a long time viewer of the YouTube channel, and also if we have interacted in the past, then I know I can trust you enough to open up your DMs. But a lot of times I just try to avoid that. It, it, it's just, you know, weird people on the internet. Now that we're on this topic, I've been meaning to talk about this. I don't get the whole mindset of sending girls unsolicited dick pics. I've never heard from any females or males that I know of who was so impressed to buy the image of somebody else's 
<laughs> private part. Ooh, I gotta meet this person. I'm, I am mesmerized by what I've just seen. Falling in love never happened once. I think most people just feel disgusted or amused. Best scenario you can think of. I'm sorry, Yosef, didn't mean to talk about <laughs> dick pic before I open up your gifts. Oops, I apologize. Sincerely. It was a postcard. Cyberpunk soul. I was just gonna say, this looks so cyberpunk. My first thought was, is this uh, from Ghostwire Tokyo? But in the back it says, Cyberpunk soul by Steve Rowe. I like your handwriting. <laughs> it's cute. Hey Jia, hope you're doing well. This is a simple gift to you and hope you enjoy it. Yosef Ali. It's so sweet. I think I'm gonna put this... I think I'm gonna display this postcard right over there, 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 there. Just moved in. Now, let's check out the controller. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm festive. Red is one of my favorite colors. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And also I needed a new switch controller for my guests. I'm having this Chinese party in oh the chinese party <laughs> this chinese spring festival slash lunar new year party on the 21st which is why you're seeing that red decoration back here on the wall spring festival along with a few other decorations my decoration budget this year is um 16 bucks 20 bucks actually ended up being 16 but i got some really good stuff for 16 dollars i'll show you at the end of this video you can see there's gotta be a better way to record what i'm doing with my hands maybe i'll use the tripod next time and keep the camera stationed on the tripod how do other people do this it's not just festive it's also pokemon themed pulling it out of the box here it is. It's so cute. I love it so much. And you can see the Pikachu. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun with this. Oh shit, now the mess on the table has been exposed. There's also this game called Time on Frog Island. I've never heard of this game, but it looks adorable. Thank you guys so much. You guys make me feel like I'm doing something right. And also, motivated to be more consistent and productive on youtube this year keep on making the content and hopefully better and better content for not just people who send me gifts okay for everyone for anyone who's watching this for anyone who watches my videos thank you all so much and hopefully hopefully we'll reach our next milestone sometime soon when i become a millionaire from doing youtube now I feel like I'm on another level now. A YouTuber who receives gifts. <laughs> Wishing you all the best year to come and happy gaming. Gamers, before we wrap up though, I, I want to show you guys my <laughs> low budget decorations for this Chinese New Year. More accurately, Lunar New Year. Because not just Chinese people so celebrate this. And if you do, Happy New Year. And this, this is also a a lamp, by the way. It's a bun. The thing is, when I have the bun on, the red lanterns became so faded. I think this is better. Maybe I'll show you my red light district style <laughs> bathroom. I installed this neon heart up there. This lady, her hairstyle changes a lot. Different holidays, different occasions. She has on this avant-garde spring festival inspired red flower hairstyle. I guess it's not so red anymore when you have this red light on. But if you turn this on, you can see. I don't know why her face is like this. I guess in the summer when I had water inside, it had real flowers. Her eyes started to bleed. It was kind of frightening, you know? <laughs> like blood coming out of her eyes, her nose and mouth. I managed to clean off the nose and the mouth, but still, I don't know. Maybe I need to just like use a harder Bristol brush to brush this out. My friends think she's frightening. <laughs> 
my soap dispenser. I really like this one. It's from um, Anthropology. The candle is here mostly just to hide the cables behind. I don't like seeing the exposed cable, but the heart needs it. There's a dimmer on this. And you can, you can use this as an indication of how passionate you feel that day. <laughs> right now, I'm very pumped, so I'm gonna crank it up to the brightest level. This is probably not worth your time watching. See you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.